Hello and welcome to Imperfectly Made Crafts. What happened? <laughs> I broke. <laughs> Hello. Uh. Shut up, Chew. You're making it worse. Right. Hello and welcome to Imperfectly... <laughs> we haven't even got inside yet, guys. <laughs> I haven't made it into the door yet. All right. I got this. <laughs> I got this. Hello and welcome to Imperfectly Me Crafts. We are here at Phase 3 Brewing Company in Lake Zurich, Illinois, here to try the brews, check the views, and see what they offer to all of you. And guess what? There's beer inside. Let's go, let's go. Hello and welcome to Imperfectly Me Crafts. I'm, I'm Mallory, choose behind the camera. Do you really need a sound effect for that? Yes. All right. We are here at Phase 3 Brewing Company in Lake Zurich, Illinois. We are starting with first round. We're starting with the pixel density. This is an IPA, New England Hazy. 6.5 ABV, and we did five ounce pours for these. Uh, they don't technically do flight speed. You can do five ounce pours of most of their beer. Mm. Motuka hops, tuaka, tuaka, I don't know how to pronounce it. It smells like motuka hops. A little funky, but fun. Ooh. And juicy, juicy. So like fun key, instead of funk e. It's the key to all the fun. Who writes your material, babe? <laughs> Cause you should fire them. <laughs> Stupid Sammy and Lily, they told me that. That joke would have killed. <laughs> oh, it killed, all right. <laughs> Stop having the cats write your material. It's not working. But it's perfect. Yeah, but we're imperfect. Oh, okay. <laughs> a little funky, a little juicy, a uh, little tropical. Um, definitely can't see through this guy at all. Actually, can't see through any of the first four I got. And we are going to dive right in, so cheers, everyone. Cool. Oh. That does some fun things. It starts out with this juice front. A bitterness hits at the middle of the tongue and wraps around the back of the mouth, followed by a sweetness that envelops everything after. You go sweet to bitter to sweet all in one. It is the hazy IPA Oreo cookie of beers. The juice up front is all tropical. The pineapple, the citrus, the normal things for the New Englands. There's a hop funk that just wraps in there and then the juice comes back. And the hop is definitely kind of a farmy hop. Um, it's, it's got a, a bit of funk to it. A, like a fresh farm? tilled earth. That's pixel density, mm -hmm. which is one of their flagships. Yeah. The next one we're moving on to is their double dry hopped Flutterby. It's an Imperial Double New England Hazy, 7.7 .7 ABV. And I get citrus straight up on this one. Mm -hmm. I get the orange on this one first. I'm not getting all the tropical flavors on the nose. And I don't get that farmhouse thing either. This is mm. totally different hops. Cheers, everyone. Ooh. Ooh. The first one was one bunny foot. This one's definitely two. Mm. It has a little more kick to it. Um, her eyes got wide open at that one. See that guy? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. So it starts with the citrus, and then the hop takes over and doesn't let go. It's just the hops after that. And those hops have bite, but there's a creaminess to it as well, which softens the blow from the hop. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Next one is their Double Dry Hop Citra Motu Mo Motueka. Motueka? Motuka? Motuka? Yeah. U and E are two vowels that shouldn't follow each other. It's weird. But um, uh, Double Dry Hop Citra Matuka Double Creme. This one's an Imperial IPA, Double New England Hazy. I'm noticing a trend. Uh, it's a 7.7% .7 on this one. And again, we're back to the tropics. Pineapple, the mango, the papaya kind of feel. I think like star fruit, a little bit of star fruit. Let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. This is the halfway point for the first two. Tropical, a little farmhouse, but the hop then takes over and runs with it. But it is so smooth and creamy, it is gorgeous. 
This is actually a two and a half bunny foot because it has both that farmhouse feel and that normal hot bite that work together to take over your mouth. But it is so smooth, you would never know that you're being accosted by hops. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh my gosh, how oh, I am feeling that one. You get the juice, then you get the farmhouse uh, funk, then you get the regular hot bite that just runs. But it's all done in the smoothest possible yeah. way. Yeah, the tastes are flowing together at a going. Yeah. It's, not, it's like a fade in, fade out in videos. That's how it is with the flavors, but not a bam. Yeah, I would have to agree. That not like a rocket. Switch from here and then switch from over there. <laughs> You're supposed to look. Yep. <laughs> not like that. It's more like a like a wave of flavor. <laughs> this is weird. And we're jumping to a triple IPA. Whoa. <laughs> yes. This is their three anniversary triple IPA. Happy anniversary. Yes, happy anniversary. This is a triple New England hazy, 10% ABV. Again, I don't know if you're noticing a theme, but they got some cool stuff going on when it comes to the hazy IPAs. They are rocking this. Smells more like the second. Not the farmhouse hop, more citrus than tropic. Wait, there is a hint of pineapple, but still citrus. Frickin' favorite so far. <laughs> wow, huge juice. You do get a little bit of the alcohol in the mouth, like you, you taste that there's alcohol in it. You can tell that's triple, but the flavor is so big and so gorgeous, you don't even care. Big, bright citrus, big, bright pineapple. There is also a bit of lemon. The hop takes, it comes in with that citrus feel to it and it softens to a farmhouse end. And that is just craziness and it tastes so freaking good. If it weren't a 10%, I'd be having two or three of these. There was a creaminess to it as well, like vanilla almost. And I can't taste the extra alcohol. Oh, really? What's been all the vodka I've been drinking earlier today? <laughs> you weren't having vodka today. Out of the four, this one I like the most. Okay, so they're um, three anniversary triple IPA, definitely the favorite of the first four, but all of these were very good. If you love your New England hazies, this is rocking because I only picked a few of how many they have. Oh, yeah. They got a bunch. Next round, we're gonna dig into some of their other styles and show you more of the space because, oh my God, this place is gorgeous. I can't even tell you. That one. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome back, I hope you enjoyed your tour. We are on to second round, and we are gonna start with their Pilsner. I hold a lot of stock in how well a brewery does a Pilsner because they're so difficult to make. This one is an American Lager, it's 4.7 ABV. 
and it doesn't come in the five ounce pours. You can only get a 10 ounce pour for this one, which I am not complaining because I love me a Pilsner. Are we ready? I think we are. Let's see how it smells. We're ready. It smells dry. An unseasoned cracker. Cheers, everyone. The flavor follows suit. Drier in the flavor. It has a, a hot bitterness to it. It is smooth and it makes me want to drink more. The moment I swallow the sip, I want another one. This one is very well balanced. She's gonna come over and steal some now. This tastes like a Pilsner that is brewed by brewmasters that love to do IPAs. It definitely has a hot bite for a Pilsner and I can see what you're saying. It tastes like a Pilsner that's made by people who love IPA. It does make you want more. I mean, you're on your fourth sip and he's, yeah. he's only had it a minute yeah. staring at and him finishing off the darn thing over there. And I'm like, oh, I don't know about this. We are going on to beer number two. Beer number two is their Double Key Lime Pie Chantilly Milkshake IPA. I've done 60 second sips on several of their milkshake IPAs from phase three. I am a huge fan and they are so good. I have not tried the Double Key Lime Pie Milkshake IPA and I cannot wait to taste this because I love Key Lime Pie too. This is gonna be fantastic. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm This ready. series of theirs has been one of my favorites from the very beginning. I've been hooked on Milkshake IPAs since they started this and I cannot get enough. And Key Lime Pie is just so darn good. Nose first. You smell the graham cracker crust, you smell the whipped cream, you smell the key lime. With the candied key lime slices sitting on top of the pie, you smell all of this. Cheers, everyone. I don't think she likes it, guys. We are getting two four packs of this before <laughs> we leave. The moment I took a sip, my whole mouth started salivating. It has key lime a little on the tart side, not as sweet as a key lime pie. But, oh my God, the flavor is so spot on for what it says it's going to be. That is freaking incredible. <laughs> it's so creamy and smooth and desserty, and I love it. Okay, so Ken, I'm in my grandma's kitchen. Sat down, I closed my eyes, and she puts this under my nose. Yep, key lime pie. <laughs> they just put a key lime pie in a blender. You can taste the whipped cream, the graham cracker crust, and the candied yeah. key lime pieces on top. You can taste all of it. Here's the fun part. This double key lime pie Chantilly Milkshake IPA is a 9% really? ABV. You don't taste any no. of that. <laughs> all right, go ahead. All right. Oh, he's gonna keep this one apparently. I will kill you. <laughs> They also have uh, food that you can order in. There's a food truck that is seven days a week uh, for whenever the place is open. And they do, I mean, full main courses. They do appetizers, burgers. They do all sorts of fun stuff, sides. Um, I'll be showing you the menus of that too. It opens a half hour to an hour after the brewery opens. And they close about an hour before. Okay, we are moving on to their Double Nectar Coconut, Pineapple, and Strawberry. This is a fruited sour, and as you can see, that has a little sediment going in it too. You cannot see through this beer. No. They obviously used a bit of puree in this one because you can see where it was. <laughs> so this is Coconut, Pineapple, and Strawberry, which I love all three of those flavors. I'm really excited to see what this one smells like. It smells like a white chocolate dipped strawberry with coconut sprinkled on top. So I am ready to dive in. Cheers, everyone. Teensy bit more tart than I was expecting. Almost ripe strawberry. Like strawberry that just has that hint of tartness, yet it hasn't quite made it to fully sweet. The pineapple follows, and then the coconut, the toasted coconut flavor just kicks it out of the park at the end. It comes across in a smoothie fashion, very thick on the tongue. The mouthfeel is super dense. 
but the flavors are so phenomenal and it definitely has a sour hint to it. It's another dessert, but a sour dessert. We are on to our last beer of second round and this one is called Pressed Maple. This is an Imperial Porter double coffee. It's a 12% ABV. <laughs> it smells like French toast. Literally French toast. I smell the egg, I smell the toast, I smell the cinnamon, and I smell the maple syrup. It is straight up breakfast in a glass. When I was in high school, me and my friends thought we were, you know, random and cool because we would go like all night out at Denny's. It's the Midwest, what can I tell you? We had a waiter there who knew us. He challenged me and a bunch of my friends to um, do shots of maple syrup. <laughs> I do not recommend. It was hell in a little cup. This, I can already tell, is gonna be amazing. But when I smell it, I remember those days at Denny's and <laughs> I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> so that was hell in a little cup. This, this is, is gonna be heaven. heaven in yeah, a little cup. this is gonna be heaven. Cheers to the end of second round. You do not taste that it's 12%, not at all. And you do get that French toast flavor. Like I feel like I'm tasting the breadiness, the thick, dense, heavy in the mouth, but in all the best ways, the yeah. same way French toast is. There's only one thing that would make this even better, make it a 10 out of the 10. If you could add bacon to it somehow. The smoked Imperial mm. Porter. Oh my God. We would spend our entire savings so that you could have the, nothing but that in the fridge. Hello, I am here with Nicole. She is one of the beer tenders here at Phase 3 Brewing Company. Where did the brewery come from? Where did it get started? Our three owners have actually been together. This is the third brewery that they've worked for together. This is the first one that they have solely owned themselves. Mm -hmm. So it was out of their desire to have their own brewery that uh, Phase 3 was born. So it's a husband and wife, Sean and Brittany, um, and then Evan. Uh, Sean is our head brewer. Um, Brittany is in charge of all of our marketing um, and she's a graphic designer by trade. So um, it's where most of our label designs and really the aesthetic all comes from Brittany. And then Evan is more of our operations uh, CEO manager. That is awesome. I mean, you need all three of those things to run a business yeah. and to have three friends that can do that together. That's so great. Absolutely. And her can designs, oh my gosh. <laughs> like seriously, check out their Instagram because their can designs are nuts. I love it. Yeah. How long have you been with, with Phase 3? Um, so I've been with Phase 3 since July of 2020. We started initially, uh, Phase 3 has been around for three years. We started as a contract brewer up here from Lake Zurich Brewing. After a few months, Lake Zurich Brewing decided to get out of the business and we were lucky enough to be able to purchase the space and purchase nice. uh, their equipment. So when we first started, it, it was also when COVID was going on. So our first summer of having a tap room was actually just a beer garden outside. Um, and so I started working in the beer garden. And then that September, so Labor Day weekend of 2020, we actually opened um, our tap room, um, which I think promptly got shut down in November. So it was, yeah. <laughs> it was a short little time <laughs> that we had a tap room open. Um, and we're just doing to-go's, but I've been with Phase 3 since uh, July of 2020. And for the to-go's, do you guys do cans? Do you do crawlers, growlers, anything else? Or? It is all four-pack cans for the most part. Yeah. Oh, and the bottles. Because you then, guys have some cool bottle yeah, releases. Yeah, and then we do have some bottle releases that we do. Most of those bottle releases are going to be all done through Osner. So if you don't have Osner, I recommend you download that app because most of our bottles, since they are so highly sought after, are either going to be done through a first come, first serve purchase or through a lottery in which you might be one of the lucky few who win an opportunity to buy it. I've entered the lottery on a few of these and have not gotten anything <laughs> yet. Uh, if you want their high-end stuff, Stuff, it's craziness because everyone knows how good this place is like they're they're beating down the door to get at this stuff it's nuts and yeah right. they're so awesome <laughs> for the brewery do you guys do a charity event things that are special for your brewery yeah so we actually do quite a few probably the one that is most well known 
is our bushel of apples festival so that's going to be in october or late september bushel of apples is a collaboration beer that we did with affy temple so it's an affy temple golden ale is the best way to describe it so it's a golden ale with uh, apple juice peanuts and caramel what's crazy is it has a huge following people love we do a festival that is in combination with Abbey Temple and all the proceeds go to the Greater Chicago Food Depository. So I think we, I don't know the exact amount of money that we have raised for them, but that's, that's been amazing. a pretty big one. That is amazing. Yeah. And I, I definitely had last year's uh, version of that beer. It was so good. <laughs> what kind of beers are the standouts for you guys? Your, your top notch uh, and the styles that you guys focus on? I think what you'll find is we have a pretty diverse tap list. When you come here and there's a little bit of something for everyone, typically you are going to find a lot of hazy IPAs. That is something that we're very well known for and it's something that honestly is very popular within the Chicagoland beer community that and they're people delicious. really like. We're very well known for our stouts and barrel aged stouts and um, even the press quarter series people really like as well. People also are, are really seeking out um, our fruited beers. So whether that's a Chantilly, whether that's a double nectar, um, or even some of the Lulls, which is our hard seltzers, um, anything with fruit added tends to be well known as well. And then something that's probably not spoken about as much, but is, is really, I would say more than a passion project of ours, but is really starting to have its own following and its own um, acknowledgement is gonna be our lager program. So whether that's our P3 pills, our oat lager, our Maybach, our house lager, we have two lagering tanks and, and that's something that we're really proud of as well. Last but not least, where can people find you? We are located at 932 Donata Court, which is up in Lake Zurich. It is an industrial park, but so when a lot of people come here for the first time, they're not really sure that they're going to the right place. We're at the very end of the building. So we are on Facebook, Instagram, and I believe Twitter, um, all at Phase 3 Brewing. And all of our new releases are typically every Friday, anything that's going to be in the tap room is shown on our stories, and then anything coming out to distro is shown the next week as more of a story behind the beer itself. Beyond that, we also dis self distribute all throughout the Chicago land area. We also self distribute uh, throughout Illinois, so the Quad City area uh, down nice. to Peoria, and then up in Wisconsin as well. Fantastic! That's yeah. branched out a lot since uh, yeah. what since last year even. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> yeah, the distribution's really grown. That's it has. we have a lot of friends who are beer tubers as yeah. well and they've been watching me do all these phase three ones and they're like we can't get them yet i'm like just wait yeah. just wait it's coming it's it, coming it's, it's a good reason to make a trip to chicago there you go <laughs> yeah it is definitely yeah. so you guys all have to come to chicago that's what it is because this place is making some amazing stuff they have amazing staff and an amazing space. We've announced it, but we are still a little ways from opening it, but probably early 23, we'll be opening a second tap room in the Elmhurst area. Um, so exciting. So that is definitely on the horizon. Oh my goodness. Oh, breaking news. <laughs> this is so fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so yeah, much no for problem. chatting with us. You guys got to check them out. Thank you so much, yeah, Nicole. No I really appreciate no your problem. time Thank and you. your beer and yeah. Yeah, perfect. Well, thank you. <laughs> Boys and girls, we got Choose Challenge coming up next. <laughs> as soon as I said that, he went, oh, because he doesn't have it planned yet. Chu has figured out what he wants for Choose Challenge. A uh, table version of Shuffleboard. We'll be using these as our pucks. We are going to set up the camera to view, and it's whoever gets closest to the edge of the table after three throws. I'll go first. Choose going first. Crap, now I don't know how to do this. Ooh, that was really good. I'm going next. Right. I'm closer so far. Ooh, I got one and two. And I went you right off move. the table. Okay, I'm going to get right on there. Oh. You were trying to knock mine out. I was. <laughs> All right. Uh, looks like choose wins choose challenge. <laughs> That's two in a row, babe. It might be three in a row. I'm not no. sure. That's two. That's bunny feet. I got bunny ears. We have had the most amazing time here today at Phase 3 Brewing Company in Lake Zurich, Illinois. 
If you get a chance, you have to check them out. They are making waves in every level of beer brewing all around the city. If you haven't already, don't leave us untapped. Tap that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you never have to go without one of our brewery tours again. And gosh, cheers, everybody. We've had such a good time. <laughs> Bye, everybody, from Phase 3 Brewing. I got beers. Um, Wait, did you introduce the second round? Oh, don't mind me, guys. Vermont maple syrup. Yep. Not the Maine, not the Florida maple syrup. Nope, Vermont. Maybe Canadian, I don't know. What do you think, eh? Do that to this one. Got beers. Keep on getting closer. Closer. Start from way back and then go do 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 do. <laughs> do it. And beer number two. Wait, what was that? <laughs> beer number two. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was weird, is what it was. Where do you go? As soon as this song came on, I was like, she was gonna start dancing to this song. And he is. You can hear me when I die. Get your feet out of there. <laughs> Anyway. Now you gotta smile. No, last smile. Not big smile. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that was cheating. <laughs> I got beers. Are you ready? Yeah, whenever you want. Cool. Here we are with oops. I wasn't ready. Chu says goodbye. He has a microphone on and he's not using his oh, yeah. voice. Bye. Oh yeah, bye. <laughs>